We're on our way to go and meet a dog that we think is Bonnie's mum. I hope the audio quality on this is okay. Um, I wanted to come out here and film this video in the woods. This is the woods at the back of our house. This is actually, this, I'm sitting on the very spot that we're gonna get married next year. Um, but I wanted to film it out here because this is where I used to walk Bonnie every day and I'd come running with her most days here as well. So yeah, I wanted to tell you what's been going on recently and tell you some exciting news that we've got. If you saw my video a few weeks ago, um, we have had a horrendously difficult past few weeks after having lost our dog. Um, she sadly passed away in an accident a few weeks ago, Bonnie. Um, she was everything to us and it's just been so unbelievably difficult to adjust to life without her. We've been keeping an eye on the dog rescue website just to see if another dog caught our eye and see when we're ready to open our hearts and home to another pup. So Vince found one the other day, a female border collie called Jill and we thought it was a bit of a coincidence because Bonnie's mum was also called Jill and let's be honest there aren't many dogs called Jill and she looked really really similar to Bonnie so we had this kind of feeling that maybe it was Bonnie's mum. Well we went we filled in all the paperwork and we booked an appointment as soon as we possibly could and we went to go and see her yesterday and it turns out it is Bonnie's mum. So the place that we got Bonnie from, the man that was running it has passed away and so all of the dogs that were under his care have gone into rescue centres and it's really serendipitous because the place that we got Bonnie from is actually miles and miles away and uh, most of the dogs went to a dog rescue home near there but a few of them got sent further south to us or to the rescue centre local to us and so it just happened that Jill, <laughs> Bonnie's mum, ended up in the rescue home just down the road from us and when we got there we <laughs> could not believe it. We, we showed, we, we told the um, rehoming staff what had happened and and asked about the details and asked about whether it was her and they couldn't believe it either and they said it absolutely is her. We showed them loads of photos of Bonnie. I remember meeting her a couple of times when we were, when we were going to meet Bonnie when, when she was a tiny pup and Jill was jumping up on, all over us and licking us loads. And the rehoming staff, the rescue staff, said that she's been quite nervous while she's been with them. Um, obviously it's a big change of scenery going from where she was to being in the kennels at the rescue centre. It's a very you know, loud and noisy atmosphere and um, she's been quite stressed while she's been there. So they said to us, um, you know, don't expect too much on your first visit. She may not take to you, so just um, take it easy, doesn't matter. We're gonna do three visits here with you guys and then three visits to your house. So it'll be a slow process. So they, they told us to go and stand in this playground area it's like um, an area where all the dogs go and play just it was an empty empty area they told us to go in and stand in the corner and that if she was interested she may come over to us and if not we could just leave it and then see her again next time well they opened the gate and she bolted straight out and ran through to come and see us okay. <laughs> Yeah. You go say hello. Hello. You know who's going to look after you. Hello, Jill. Hello. <laughs> Hello. You good girl. Who's your favourite? <laughs> <laughs> that backfired. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so when we went and did the visit yesterday at the Dogs Trust, they said that we have to do three visits there and three home visits here to make sure that she's okay and that she gets used to us and used to the environment in a kind of controlled way. And they said that normally they wait a few days before they do the next visit, but because of the story that comes along with getting this dog, Bonnie's mum, they were all really touched and they said that they'd come and do the visit to the house today, the first visit. So we are eagerly awaiting them, getting the fence done. <laughs> I don't know why, because it's a dog and she doesn't care, but I've like gone around and cleaned the house. Um, and yeah, I'm just like, I can't wait for her to get here. I'm so excited. Vince and I were barely able to sleep last night because we just couldn't wait for her to get here. And we haven't been able to part with Bonnie's toys and treats and things we've given a few things away to friends um like dog food and some treats but most of it we've kept and it's really lovely to think that it's going to go to bonnie's mum. bonnie absolutely loved these treats so i'm hoping that her mum will too okay so yesterday we did the visit at the dogs trust and oh my god it was just so magical lots of happy tears after that and um, even the people, even the dog trainers at the Dog Trust were welling up with how magical the story is and all of us were just saying this is fate, this is meant to be. It just feels so wonderful that we're going to be able to bring Bonnie's mum into our family and it, it feels like yeah we were meant to be taking care of her. Um, so they, in order to make sure that we're the right fit for her, they want us to do three visits there and they want to bring her here for three visits just to get her used to us and to check out the house and the garden and make sure everything's suitable and that she's comfortable. So we're just waiting for them to turn up now. Um, yeah, they were meant to be here like 20 minutes ago, but they're not here and I'm just like going out of my mind waiting. I'm so excited. I'm feeling really impatient about it. They're here. They're just coming into the garden and cropping my coat. Ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> You're home. <laughs> so you can live. We're gonna take good care of you. Okay. Got some treats and doors. Oh, you smile for us. <laughs> oh, look the camera. That's, that's it. Look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> I think you found your forever home, didn't you? And it went really, really well. She seemed really at ease here. She's she's still quite a nervous dog, but she just seems like she's got such a lovely temperament. And she's so similar to Bonnie, but different in so many ways. And we're just so excited that we get to open our hearts to family. And it feels like she really does belong with us. And I honestly feel like this is fate and, and it's such an honour to be able to have her as our next dog that um, after losing Bonnie, <laughs> um, we're going to be able to provide a lovely, lovely home for her mummy. <laughs> um, oh, I was really going to try not to cry in this video, but I may not be able to hold back the tears. But yeah, after such a rough month of trying to adjust to life without a dog and without Bonnie it feels so special and so magical that we're gonna get Bonnie's mum. I wanted to come and share that with you, tell you all the good news and you're gonna be seeing a lot of her in my videos coming up and a lot on my Instagram. Um, we are gonna be renaming her, we're not so keen on the name Jill for her and we haven't come up with many names that seem fitting yet she's a really gentle dog she's petite she's black and white um so if any of you have got any good name suggestions leave them in the comments below because we are a bit stumped at the moment and uh yeah we're going to be getting her on tuesday they've rushed it all through for us and we couldn't be happier this is just such a wonderful thing to look forward to and i'm counting down the days until we get her <laughs> hello